BSA, Birmingham Small Arms. Once upon a time they were the greatest, the Beatles and the British motorcycle industry. BSA's first market success was in 1927 with a 500cc sloper and soon afterwards it became the country's largest motorbike manufacturer. The models in the BSA range had illustrious names such as Blue Star, Empire Star and Gold Star. After the war the company resumed production of the barely changed single cylinder motorbike. In 1946 BSA also produced a 500cc bike, the A7 Star Twin, as its competitor Triumph had done. This BSA was faster than the Indian and more stylish and easier to handle than the BMW. At this time business was thriving for BSA and the company soon became a market leader worldwide. After the home market the United States was the company's biggest customer. The faster and more powerful the bike the better. Gradually the engines were souped up more and more and the bikes were given dramatic names such as Thunderbolt, Firebird, Lightning, Hornet and Spitfire. In principle this could have gone on forever but suddenly the Japanese arrived. The Japanese offensive was a rude awakening and BSA reacted by building the BSA A75R Rocket 3. It was all in vain because in 1973 BSA went into liquidation. The BSA 500 Motorcycle technology was still in its infancy in 1913 and reliability did not exist. So the BSA engineers still equipped their bikes with push bike pedals to be on the safe side. Admittedly the 500cc single cylinder engine was quite substantial. But if the 3.5 brake horsepower 4 stroke engine should give up the ghost, the rider could still at least pedal home. BSA S26 BSA made its reputation not least thanks to this sturdy tourer which was a particularly reliable bike. Additional push bike pedals as provided in the earlier models were therefore no longer necessary. However, the performance with its half litre engine developing 10 brake horsepower was not particularly impressive for the time. A comparable NUS single cylinder was available in the 1920s capable of developing 16 brake horsepower. BSA 600 Sloper Launched in 1927, the new BSA 500 Sloper became the best selling and trend setting. The engineers had fitted the single cylinder engine inclined slightly forward. The sports bike was modelled on the successful TT Racing motorbike of 1921, but the capacity was increased and the performance rose to 20 brake horsepower. BSA 1000 G14 Big V Twin. Like the famous American makers Harley Davidson and Indian, BSA also produced Taurus with large V twin engines in the 1920s and 1930s. The V twins existed in different versions ranging from 500 to 1000 cc. The 1000 Big V twin launched in 1935 had wide highway style handlebars, hand gear change, and footrest. BSA R19 350 Racing has always been very popular in Britain. Amongst BSA's victories in road racing were the Isles of Man TT races and six day endurance races. The forerunners of today's enduros even then had tyres with massive bar treads and the exhaust systems was mounted up higher for better ground clearance. The BSA R19 350 was an inexpensive racing bike as well as a road bike which could be used on everyday basis. BSA M20 In the Second World War this motorbike acquired the reputation in the British Army of being an indestructible bike. Its many model variations throughout its production until 1963 also pleased thousands of civilian motorbike fans throughout the world. This partly because they appreciated its great reliability of the BSA. The BSA 500 Blue 34 Gold Star Clubman 
as early as the 1950s, long before the expression cafe racer was invented. BSA included in his catalogue a purebred road racing motorbike. The OHV single cylinder engine was capable of developing 40 brake horsepower. The elegant Clubman range was fitted with clip on footrests and a swept back exhaust system. BSA A10 Road Rocket The A10 models were powerful twin cylinder motorbikes. They were driven by a parallel twin engine which as well as substantial acceleration also provided an unmistakable sound. The Rocket model sold very well in the United States and was a commercial success for BSA. In addition, the Road Rocket was a model which was copied by the emerging Japanese manufacturers. In that, countless constructional features of these bikes can be found in, for instance, the Kawasaki W1 of 1965. The BSA C12 250 Like all well-known manufacturers, BSA also produced 250cc bikes. These were not as exciting motorbikes but bread and butter machines for people who could not afford or did not want a larger machine. The BSA 500 A7 Star Twim Immediately after the war, BSA launched a new 500cc bike on the market in 1946. The parallel twin developed 26 brake horsepower and was built in the classic English style. The gearbox was behind the engine and the transmission, dynamo and ignition also had their own housings. The BSA 650 A10R Super Rocket Since 1950 BSA had included a 650 in its catalogue in addition to its 500cc design. BSA could be very happy with the success of the A7 and the A10 models, but it did not want to rest on its laurels. Soon it launched the 650cc A10 with 35 brake horsepower. Over the years, the twin continued to develop further and at the beginning of the 1960s, it was included in the catalogue under the name of A10R Super Rocket with an amazing 45 brake horsepower and a top speed of over 180 km per hour which is 112 miles per hour. BSA 650 A65 Star Twim In 1962 BSA in Birmingham started a new generation of motorbikes with the 650 A65 Star Twin. Instead of the traditional divided engine, the 650cc top model had a beautiful smooth block engine. After over 30 years the company said goodbye to the A65 model range as it had been and at the time it also dropped the logo of the three crossed rifles which had until then appeared on the timing case. The overall engine casting was extremely compact and construction was simplified, thus cutting production costs by half. BSA 650 A65R Rocket BSA always built motorbikes for people who knew something about bikes and this type of clientele was continually demanding higher performance. The new 65R Rocket could develop up to 46 brake horsepower and had a Siamese 2 into one exhaust system. BSA 650 A65L Lightning the rocket was a tremendous success when it was launched and it was therefore not surprising that in 1965 it was followed by the next projectile. This time it took the form of the BSA A65 Lightning with an engine developing 52 brake horsepower, a new cylinder head with two ammo monoblock carburetors provided the greater engine power. BSA 650 A65 SS Spitfire Mark IV Special At the beginning of 1968, BSA launched an absolute top model in the A65 range. The A65 SS Spitfire Mark IV Special This motorbike 650cc engine developed 55 brake horsepower and propelled it at a good 190km an hour or 118 miles per hour. 
At the same time it was the final stage in the development of the A65 range. Anyone who could then afford the high price of the Spitfire Mark IV was the undisputed king of the road, because no other bike, whether Triumph, Norton, Harley or BMW, could match its speed. BSA 750 A75R Rocket 3 BSA produced a genuine sensation in 1968, at least in the eyes of the British, as a final show of strength, the BSA launched the 750cc Rocket 3 on the market, but it did so in vain, as the company quickly realised that the end of a good old British bike was unavoidable compared to the modern Honda CB754. The brand new BSA with its 750cc three-cylinder engine already looked obsolete. Ironically, today the Rocket 3 has become a much sought-after collector's item. From 1968 until the end of production in 1972, only 5,897 were produced. BSA 650 A65T Thunderbolt BSA started a new range in 1971 with three models, a series which was described as oil in frame. The 52 brake horsepower A65L Lightning and the A65 FS Firebird Scrambler with 54 brake horsepower were complemented by this A65T Thunderbolt with a comfortable 46 brake horsepower. BSA Matizzi 750 Rocket 3 Cafe Racer From the 1960s to the beginning of the 70s, the most popular in bikes in England were so called cafe racers. They were home converted road bikes which looked like real racing bikes. Anybody with plenty of money could buy such an extraordinary bike from a customizer. For instance, a Rickman Matiza from RGM, depending on the wishes of the client, there were sports bikes with different engines, either by Triumph, Norton, Royal Enfield or BSA. But Rickman only built 33 chassis kits for the 750 three-cylinder Triumph Trident with a BSA rocket engine. BSA 750 A75R Rocket 3, the Works Racer. For BSA, the United States had always been the premier export country. Besides clever advertising, success in competition was also very important to ensure good sales. But a cold wind was blowing from Japan. In 1969, the Honda B750 4 came onto the American market as early as 1970. Dick Mann won the 200 miles of Daytona Beach in Florida on the CB750 series Honda. Naturally, this did not please BSA, but the British motorcycle industry had breathed its last breath. Honda, Yamaha and Kawasaki were the new favourites, and this did not change even with Dick Mann's legendary Daytona victory in 1971 on the 750cc 3-cylinder works BSA. Unfortunately, the company went out of business in 1973. If you like this video and want more, please like, comment, subscribe and share.